Bank Levo. Killer. Me a Killer. 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 Social media, no good you pet yet by no head, oh, not you pet yet by no bag, oh, get up out of yourself. He will let you to be here, sir. No good you pet yet by no head, oh, he was pardoned on your door, or salopa, no give a no good at all. Oh, your daughter, no, I'm with a happy body. He was pardoned on your door, or salopa, no give a no. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? So let me be very short. Let me say press to symbol. That means as quickly as possible. Um, on behalf of the president of Data State Community, Mr. Samuel Majoro, and uh, I myself as the vice president, I want to thank the founder and the president of Data State Community. I call him the most handsome man in, in Dubai. <laughs> So I want to thank you so much for uh, putting things together and uh, this is amazing. Um, he's a very hardworking man and he's been doing this thing for a very long time. Thank you so much for the tenacity and for the capacity that you have put together to bring the community to this stage you have today. So I want to appreciate you so much. And um, because of the closeness of the relationship we have with the community, that's why we are here today. And uh, we honor your invitation. We still have another invitation to order right now after this place. So I want to say a big thank you to all of you. And then with all the advice that I've been giving to everyone today, I believe that everyone has learned one or two things from this advice. Dubai is hot. Dubai is difficult right now. But the only thing I would say is share love. Share love. The only thing that brings us together as a community is love. When you share love to each other, believe me, you might not read the love today, your generation will read that love. People are hungry in Dubai. An hungry man is an angry man. When you see your neighbor, show love. Believe me, show love. All of us, the, same, the figures are not the same. I might be doing well than you. You might not be doing well. So if you see someone that is not doing well, many of us have lost our jobs in Dubai. Many people sleep in staircases. Let us be true, let us be honest. See, in Shaka here, all these many boys that you see running about the street during the day, most of them, 30% sleep on staircases. You understand? So try to help one another. You live in a flat, you are cooking good stew, you eat good food in your room, and your neighbor is hungry. And you know he's hungry, you can't share love. So one thing I want to say is love. Share love. I don't have much, but as I'm talking to you right now, I pay rent for other people. I bring them out of staircase. I pay rent for some people. Sometimes I have to skip my own rent for some weeks to pay for other people's rent. Sometimes I have to go to Dera, go to Union Metro Station. Let me tell you something. Just go to Union, go to Banias. You see them sleeping on flowers in Banias. Sometimes I just have to go there, share love. Even if it is 10, 20 dollars you give to them, for that just one day meal, they will feel okay. Give them advice. Share love. If you have any job, some of them are looking for a job. When I was working in Gantu, one of the biggest companies in this country, I was a cost control and accommodation manager. I share love. I don't wait for anybody. I just go to the metro station. Where is your CV? Where is your CV? Where is your CV? I bring them together. So just share love. Nigerians, one thing about Nigerians is that once a Nigerian is in a position, he doesn't want to allow any other Nigerian to just come closer to him. I'm telling you. He doesn't allow any other Nigerian to come closer to him. So if you are greedy to your fellow Nigerians, it's not good. So to end this, share love. People are suffering. Nigerians are suffering. Not just Nigerians, Africans are suffering. Go to different buildings.
days today, different towers today. Just go there and see. Every day they are moving out. They are chasing them out every day. So one thing I want to say is share love. Thank you so much. God bless you. It's now. Even before they partake like they were announced, in this area they are doing maintenance. Power will be out of one. So then I grew up in that Nigeria. I know the difference between these times. If you want to get there, the young generation, you have to. I'm not an president, not an Yoruba. But many of us who are still young, you have that chance. I'm in my 50s already. So I'm not politically inclined. I may support anybody who gives me an appointment. Because of the mindset that I want to help Nigeria, it's not for me to go and get. UAE have made me a landlord. When I came, I was broke and in debt. By God's grace, being in UAE, I have become a landlord. When I go home, I will better off. Whatever I can do, I will do better. Let's start from here. So that when we go home, we come and refine and renew people. For everybody to know that when you saw opportunity, you used it to better yourself. Thank you very much. The MC is missing in action. <laughs> Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, I, I'm okay, man. I'm very sure. Uh, everybody is saying uh, a few good words. Uh, they said uh, uh, one word is good for the uh, uh, for the wise. Uh, I want to uh, quickly break it down this way. Uh, UAE is in a position right now where most of that country were before when like immigrants are coming immigrants especially from nigeria uh us uh where i'm based i've been in new york for close to 32 years now we had similar problem in the past but things are getting better united kingdom they have the same problem uh nigeria is at the verge of becoming a better country. Uh, when country is coming up, and especially when it's coming up from Africa, the the Western world have a systematic way of trying to bring that country down. Uh, but we ourselves have to be very, very smart enough to be able to understand this problem and deal with it. Um, it th this is not by randomness. Like a gentleman said earlier, Nigeria is not the number one on the list of the crime index. It's not even the number two over here. But once there's anything by Nigeria, you'll see it very loud. We went through all of that in the United States too. Uh, I just want to say that um, we should be uh, what we should be practicing is love, like he spoke about. That was one of my uh, things that I wanted to speak about. But he, he took it and uh, he deliberated on it already, and I don't want to speak that much on it. It's about love. Uh, it's about us knowing that we are valuable to the society. It's about us knowing who we are. And there is always something for every one of us. The time might be difficult at a certain time. No condition is permanent, and there is uh, always a green light, a, a light at the end of the tunnel. This is just a trying time. Dubai or UAE would have a different story a few years from now. Nigerians, we are aggressive. We are very smart people, and we know what we want. And this is scary to the white world. It's scary to the uh, Western world. So, but we have to be smart enough to present ourselves in a way so you don't become a threat. Before they know who you are, you're already at the top. But if you want to just come up the way you feel and what you deserve, that one is, that one is, you become an enemy. So, uh, I just want to say that uh, uh there's a lot of other countries that are committing worse worse work than what nigerians are doing but the media and the people want to just paint us what we are not but we have to be smart enough to be able to debunk that and uh, some of us are not helping the matter by 
just continue to post what is wrong. Anytime you post a crime scene, you are a promoter of a crime. You are promoting bad things. Promote the good one. If you follow me on my Facebook, anytime the Nigeria is appointed as any uh, position, a Nigerian did that, a good, good, good thing that the Nigerians are doing, that's what I post. Because nobody will tell your story. You have to tell your own story. I don't want to talk too much. I just want to end it here. There's a lot to talk about. Thank you all. And I want to thank this uh, community. Please don't stop. Keep doing what you're doing. And, um, and this is grateful. Thank you so much for doing this. In the old Miss Western uh, region, before August 1991, I think, uh, they created the data state. So we, can, we don't have to go down the history lane. Otherwise, uh, history is very wide. Uh, one thing I want to say here today is that uh, the Robo community in UAE is growing and uh, we are peace loving people. We try to embed this culture and orientation among the members that the way forward, the way to go is the legitimate way. When we see that a member is in, we deal with the member. Uh, coming uh, to the other side of it, uh, sometimes uh, last month, they told me they have uh, a new Edo in UAE. I was like, a new Edo? Yes, I said yes. Okay, we went. I saw some of uh, the persons. Uh, we had a discussion. They said they are the Edo in UAE. I said, no problem. What is uh, really happening? I don't know. But um, when you came, you attended an invitation to us that you are having an event. I spoke to my ESCO members. They said, no, we should honor the invitation. The robots, we don't really push people aside like that. That's why they say we are peace loving people. We should come and honor the invitation and really see what uh, is happening here. And uh, coming here today, I'm a little bit, uh, <laughs> I will not say confused, but uh, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, thank you very much for your humility and uh, for coming to us. Uh, well, I will not say much. I believe uh, things will be better again. Uh, and uh, it's a quarter is charger. I want to clear the air that in the past, there has nothing like a do community. I spent years in Spain. I'm still asking my God, what am I doing in this country? The level of life here is not the level we, we are really, we really grew up with in the other Western world. I call here advanced Nigeria country. Because no human as well. To crown it all, I just want to clear the air. When I came, I think it was one year plus then. Why they told me to get a driver license it was very difficult. I got it. And something I did then was moving me from one place to another. And I was seeing not even Edo people, a beneath man. And I was told that the Edo people are not much in the country. When I see you, I collect your number. When I see you, I collect your number. I've done a lot of legitimate jobs. I was once a charger taxi driver. Under one year I came. After one year I cancelled, I opened my shop. So all these things are things that I did. And I sat down and said, there's need to be community here. Let us have something to represent a do. And you cannot say you are an Edo man, precisely. If you want to be a help, it must be that ancestral blessing. And I believe that is what God has given me here. If you go to, the, to Nigeria, go to the other palace, everything I'm doing here is away. It's away. Uh, 
I'm a high, highly respected prince from the Benin Kingdom. So you can see the lineage of how to represent our cultural and traditional heritage. So I called my brothers and my sisters who were available around me. I said, let us form this. I started by WhatsApp group. Before you know, I had the program. I don't have 30 to success. I just want to rebrand the image of Nigeria. That's, that program spread my name. I was called by the Consular General. We love what you are doing. You can go to our Facebook page, Edo Community, we TikTok, Edo Community. That was how I was called. But before then, I went to the Nigerian Embassy. I said, Is there anything like Edo Community? He said, Consular said, Do you know that it's Edo people that are one of the people? He said, No, I have come to change the narrative. But since I started, nothing has such. So after the event, I was told that when I went to, uh, to welcome the, uh, President Buhari during Expo 2020, the consulate gave me tickets, free tickets. I was looking for people from street to street. Can you follow me? When they hear Buhari, they will not go. I have to mobilize people. Even when I was saying, say Buhari, a lot of calls, so you are supporting me. <laughs> so, after that, we did the UA at 50. Why the consulate told me to bring my cultural troop, and even last week, do you know that uh, the University of uh, Ale? I don't know how they they called me and said they need my cultural troop to perform in the university. So what I want to say, I don't fight for power, and I'm even wondering why am I doing this? But when I do it, it manifest. So a time now came after after the ceremony, false allegation was leveled against me. The Nigerian Consular General gave me Ghana must go. When uh, Buhari came, he gave me money, all sorts of things. And all these things I've been struggling to make sure I do everything. You can see these are my hand job. I do this. I design this. I'm a photographer, I'm a Photoshop editor, I'm a professional baba. I'm a political scientist. I study political science and pop at me. Why should I be, be, I cannot be part of illegality. So what they did, it was my escorts that conspired against me. I said, since the president, they gave me money, you have been voted of no confidence. I will have a constitution guiding us. I said, follow the process. If you want to impeach, you want to remove, you must follow the process. And if you cannot remove me, I'm not just a president. I'm the founder. Can you remove a founder? All the platforms that I used to found the community, they are all with me. So when they knew, I never, I never knew there was going to be a conspiracy. They asked me to release the admin, which I refused. All the platform, Facebook page, I'm the one controlling it. Uh, Instagram, all. I told them, after my one year, the constitution is just two years. I even gave them room for democratic system of government with unique features. They said, no, you have room, please. They will even call me, when is your time going to expire? <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to tell you people that when a uh, problem came, the consulate called me, unknowing it to my former PRO, when they want to get passes to go to Nigeria, I have dele deliberated, delegated PRO, that is his own jurisdiction. But I never knew the former PRO was collecting money from them just to give them a pass for those they have seized their international passport. And I want to tell each and every one of you here, the only person that have access to the Consular General is me. The only person that have access to Ambassador is me. So what they did, when, when the, so the consulate now called me and said, your PRO is here, unknowing it to him. I came. He said two persons or three persons he brought to an pass. They did for two. Two of them was remaining. You know that the remaining two now slept in front of the consulate office while the police now came. The consulate said, this is a mess on my part. I said, mommy, I'm not aware of it. 
to so not call the PRO. PRO, you mean your president is not here? He said, President has been voted on who confident. But the PRO has, the consulate has said, who come for the meeting? Say was the one. What right have you to come for a meeting? Was it the day of your meeting you did all the what about your member? So it was few that did all they do they did. It's at the end of the day. I told them they still unity, they still reason for me to call you all together. The consulate told me settle with them, which I did. So the time like the consulate has said, because it was beneath. Bini was the president. Bini was the secretary. All the position was Bini. So the consulate had told me, go and face the local government that made up those states in your cabinet. Since they said they voted me on no confidence, I had to dissolve their high schools. So it's so, so unfortunate. They don't know how to play politics. I'm a political scientist, but I told them there is reason for us to follow the process. So to claim it on, I just want to say that Edo is one. So do you know what they now did? They are not Edo community. They now went to create a name called Edo community. Uh -huh. No, I'm just saying it because you are saying it's too Edo. Uh -huh. Edo. But before the ceremony, I called all of them. I said, let us come together. You, you are from your Edo community. Now it's Edo community. Define Edo and Edo. We now see that Edo is singular. Uh, Edo is singular. Why Edo is, is plural? So Edo consists of all the local government. Why Edo consists of just a particular tribe? So I want to. I told them, you all should come. I will bless you. You are Urubu. Abi, it's a local government in a, in a Delta state. Then if they are Edo, let them represent Edo. Me and Edo, then I will bless them. We work together. That is it. So I want to tell you, we are one. They are still my brothers. They are still my sisters. But I didn't say they should not choose. Let me choose. Then you choose. They said, no, don't just choose or we don't want you. And I'll finish. That will be done. So it is one Edo community. Thank you so much. Okay, Ambassador for Peace and Culture, Edo Festival and Merit of Words. Diana, Adesu Ahogo. Please make welcome Daniela Adesua. Please give a round of applause. Daniela Adesua, please come here. Come on, you see that. Please give a round of applause again. Thank you.